Good Tuesday morning, everybody, live and direct from areas in and around Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with your Tuesday morning edition. Excuse me a second while I get the microphone ready to go. Tuesday morning edition of your exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Gorgeous amounts of sunshine, hardly any clouds today, lots of blue skies out there. Great opportunity for taking the kids out for a picnic or getting those errands done. Whatever you've got going on, you will not be needing the umbrella immediately. But as we get into the course of the next couple of days, that could be a bit of a problem. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Early this morning, we're just past about 8 o'clock, heading for 8.30, and there are, of course, the usual slowdowns going on across portions of the area, especially on I-240 westbound from about Mount Moriah all the way back over to Airways this morning. Some pretty good slowdowns there. Minor accidents reported on Sam Cooper at about Highland and also around Walnut Grove on the eastbound lanes back to around 240 south. It looks like that's the heaviest activity we've got so far. Storm systems, not a lot going on at this time. We do have, again, one storm system off the east coast, that big swirl of energy just you see over there to the north of the area around Florida. And back to around the area right up here, we see again some more energy starting to move into the Plain States. That's going to be our next storm system coming on through as we get into tomorrow night. Rest of the day today looks pretty good, but as we get into the rest of the day tomorrow, that's where we could have some problems. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little while. Currently across the area, again, we're not seeing too much of any major concerns where pollution is showing out there. But for the Memphis metro area, we do have, again, an elevated amount of pollution, about a lower 50 range, somewhere in there. The yellow category is 50 to, about 51 to 100, and that's where we see, again, a moderate air quality. So we're starting to see a few more pollutants stack up out there, dust, pollen, all kinds of stuff like that. Particle pollution is relatively low, about 46, still in the green or good shaded category. Ozone is a little higher right now from engines and our industrial society. That's where we get, again, a lot more of that pollution coming on through. Let's take a look and see what What's going on throughout the rest of the area where it comes to traffic cameras again very good visibility out there traffic cams showing the usual slowdowns out across much of the area as we go through rush hour so if you are planning on heading down the roadway you can take a look at these webcams all organized from Vanderbilt University on the Vector Center, the Vanderbilt Center for Transportation Research otherwise known as Vector collecting all of the TDOT Smartway cameras in one location, so a good opportunity to see a little bit more about what it looks like out across the area. Pretty typical rush hour out there, and hopefully it should stay that way. There's a reset going on right there for you. Taking a look around the rest of the area, if you'd like to see more of our webcams, wreg.com slash webcams for more on the weather bug system at this time. And a beautiful morning starting things off. Also looking pretty nice downtown on the Cotton Exchange camera. Some very quiet conditions located uh, in and around there. Mississippi River was on its way down over the course of the last couple of days, and we're going to continue to see it looks like a fairly low river level at this time, and that's what we're seeing at this point where the river has dropped a little bit. Now heading back upwards again, looks like a new surge of water coming downstream. Not enough for a uh, flood advisory or anything like that, but it should be up to about 23 feet as we go into and around the area of around this next weekend or so, and then falling down even further as we head toward next week, Monday. So quiet conditions, it looks like right there. Radar showing again that storm system back toward the east coast states on the uh, right-hand side of your screen. That's where we're getting most of the rainfall taking place there. New storm system on the way over the Rockies at this time and that's going to be again moving its way a little bit closer to us. By tonight at about midnight it's going to be over parts of the Missouri River, River Valley from the Great Lakes down through about Oklahoma the Red River Valley into parts of Texas. By tomorrow morning we start to see more clouds at first and then more chances of rainfall making their way into the area, especially as we go into late Wednesday, early Thursday. The dark red shaded areas that you see on Wednesday evening, uh, northern parts of areas, northeast, northwestern parts of Louisiana, parts of northeastern Texas back into central Arkansas and into around southern parts of Missouri. That is where we could see some stronger, possibly even some severe weather going on. And some of that could linger into around the area of early on Thursday morning before this one storm system sweeps on out. So it looks like Wednesday into Thursday, that's where we could see uh, some more problems out of this. As these systems get out over the Rockies, the Rockies force these storm systems up into the atmosphere. And then when they get out into the plain states, they got a lot more room to maneuver, a lot more energy possible from these things. So we see what happens with those over the next several days. Temperatures today are going to be going back into around 80 degrees, a little bit above normal, but still very nice out there. No precipitation of any type expected. Tonight's lows very mild back into the lower to mid 60s. And then by tomorrow, we start to see the possibility 
early in the morning of some showers and maybe some rumbles of thunder west of the Mississippi River. Temperatures for tomorrow for highs back into the mid to upper 70s to lower 80s. More chances of showers and thunderstorms are going to be coming up tomorrow night around dinner time and afterwards and then also low temperatures again a little cooler back in the lower to mid 50s. For Thursday high temperatures back in the 70s not too bad again pretty close to normal and rainfall chances move east of the Mississippi River heading on out of the picture and that should do it for rainfall for a while but as we go into Friday, low temperatures Thursday night back in the lower to mid 50s, north of I-40, mid to upper 50s around and south of I-40. Getting into Friday, high temperatures once again a little warmer back in the lower to mid 80s or so. And then we also see the chance of showers and thunderstorms isolated at first, but then by Friday night, into Saturday. Any outdoor activities, definitely want to think about some indoor plans and definitely want to keep tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on what's going on. Friday night's lows only back into the mid to upper 60s or so across much of the area. Severe weather chances for today, not that much to show you. Looking again at a lot more activity back into around the Great Plains states, eastern parts of Kansas, northeastern Oklahoma, and the west central and southwestern parts of Missouri. Looks like around Kansas City, Joplin, uh, down toward about the area of Galena, Kansas, Chanute, Pittsburgh in the southeastern corner of the state, and green country in and around parts of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Going to stand the best possibility of getting some thunderstorms out there today. Now the threat for tomorrow is going to be a little bit more widespread and it gets very close to the Mid-South area. Everybody in the Mid-South stands at least a slight risk category in the yellow shaded area, but as we go a little bit farther away from say St. Louis, Rolla, Missouri, down through Little Rock and just west of the News Channel 3 viewing area counties. That's where we see an enhanced risk of thunderstorms coming on through that could be severe. That's going to be the strongest portion of what we see into the next couple of days. Now as we go again throughout the rest of the week from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, starting on Friday and into Saturday, another threat moves on through and then we see that potential going into Sunday. So there again right there on the forecast. I'll zoom in on this so you can see it a little bit better. The loop going through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's where we see our potential for more severe weather. So we've got kind of a double whammy taking place in the course of the next couple of days, which we're going to be watching very carefully out there. Stay tuned for more. It is World Penguin Day. If you'd like to know more about what's going on with conservation efforts down into the Southern Hemisphere and all kinds of other neat things on what's going on science and weather related, uh, stop by my Twitter page for more at twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3 and of course more on world penguin day and your complete forecast taking place on my facebook page that's at facebook.com slash austin onic wreg and you should be able to get tons more information on there do we have any possibility of seeing anything good where it comes to satellite flyovers or any good stargazing capability tonight we'll answer that question coming up later tonight on our exclusive astronomy blog astronomy and science altogether. It works pretty well. Skyblog 3 will be posting that later on this afternoon into this evening, so stay tuned for more on that, and we'll tell you what you can see by looking up into the skies tonight. Great opportunity to get involved in astronomy at any point in time. Get your kids interested in it. Take a look and see what's going on out there and find out more about what you can see out in the night sky. Our ancestors did it all the time. No reason why we can't go out and take a look around every once in a while just to see what's available out there and see what our ancestors saw and make up our own stories as we go along and learn what they learned. So something to take a look at there on Skyblog 3 that's coming up later on tonight. Hopefully get that posted to WREG.com slash weather. Live and direct from out and about in parts of the Mid-South area this morning, mostly in central Memphis right now. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. Stay tuned for more coming up throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3. And join me on all my social media networks on the red bar at the bottom of your screen there. Forecast in the blue bar at that point in time and also available on all these social media networks. So stay tuned for more there. Todd Demers has more coming up on Live at 9 and on News Channel 3 at noon, and Tim and Jim have more coming up later tonight, starting on News Channel 3 first at 4 later this afternoon. Thanks for joining me for today's exclusive update of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online.